I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to spend all day on this review because I have Red Dead Redemption queued in and I want to get back to playing. WWE Evolution was last night and I sat there and I watched. Ironically, I watched and I survived 95% of the show. Uh, to start off, the show was exactly what I thought it would be. A, a mediocre show with two, three matches tops that were worth my time in watching. And one match that was actually good, but meant nothing. I'm just going to go down the card. If I miss an order here, I don't care. I don't. Uh, Alicia Fox versus and Mickey James versus the legendary Lita and Trish Stratus. This match was a match that happened, and Alicia Fox is terrible. This is about the third, sorry, third time, fourth time this year she has missed a pinfall, a, a pin breakup. It, it, it literally takes everything out of the match. When you see a referee go one, two, and it has to do this because Alicia Fox is a second too slow to break up a pin foul. Ten years you have been wrestling. Ten years and you missed the basic concept of breaking a pin foul again. Again. I'm not even going to give star systems because I'm going to speed through this, give slight thoughts, and we're moving on to the next match, which was the 20... Woman Battle Royale. Oh! It's Royal Rumble come early, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't know why we need a Women's Royal Rumble now. It literally happened last night with a winner that is god-awful. Why? Nia Jax wins the 20-woman Battle Royale when it should have been either Ember Moon or Asuka. But no, we gotta get Nia Jax fighting against Ronda Rousey again. Oh! Joy. Uh, I'm so excited. Not real. Like I'm not doing this in order, so if I miss an order, I don't care. But I believe next was Io Shirai and Tony Storm. This match is one of the matches I had anticipated going in. I, I have been I've watched Tony Storm since you know since she's pretty much been on the network. I have gone back to watch some of Io Shirai's work. And I've watched some of Tony Storm's work in Japan and all that stuff. So this was a match I was waiting to see. Really waiting to see this match. And to be fair, to be fair, it was really, really stupid short. I don't know why they didn't give them 15 minutes. Maybe even 20. I don't see why when they gave Sasha... Beck and Bailey and Natalia seem like almost 15 minute match with the Riot Squad, which I'll cover next. But despite that, it was still a good match for what it was. And when you give someone nine, ten minutes, there's not much you can do that can really flesh out a story. So therefore, being they did what they could and they fell out. And Tony Storm, she wins, which I predicted. I predicted Tony Storm would win. And good for her. Side note, um, Charlotte Flair needs to needs to study Io Shirai's moonsaults. Her moonsaults, despite her not really connecting much of them in the Mae Young Classic because she pretty much overshot them, they still look more beautiful than Charlotte. Moving on to the next match, we have the, the, the six woman tag between Sasha. You know what? I'm gonna say this. This is the best match those three together, the, the, the set, the, those six people together have put together. It was actually a really good, it was, it was a good match for what it was. It was a good match. The spots, blah, blah, blah. They really went all out on this. The problem is I've seen this match all, since WrestleMania, if not before WrestleMania, all year. Riot Squad, this... Be Becky and Sasha versus Ruby and, and any combination of the fucking Riot Squad I've seen. So you know what? I don't care. Baby faces wins. Um, next match, which is probably match tonight to some, 
Kyrie Sane versus Shayna Baszler, NXT Women's Championship. I am in love with Kyrie Sane. I think she's probably not only in love with her as a wrestler and her insane elbow, but she's just fucking adorable, man. She's like the most adorable superstar woman in the company. This match was great. A lot of people may question my decision here and what I'm going to say. I know why they did it. I thought the ending was a little bit too overbooked, but again, I know why I did it. It had to find a way to introduce Roger Strong's wife and the other woman. I don't, I don't mean, I don't remember her name. So I understand why I did it. I don't mind Shayna Baszler being women NXT champion uh, again. I've been on a record and I used to shit all over her because I thought she was just eh, whatever. But her character work. Has, has not only impressed me, but it surprised me. And she's gotten better in the ring match after match. So I cannot deny that. She has pretty much won me over. And this was probably match of the night. It, it, it was definitely my match of the night. Um, and that's not because, you know, it, it was a good match. I, I thought the finish was maybe a little bit overbooked, but I know why they did it. And Kyrie looks strong. Everyone pretty much went out looking strong. And I don't know if this means that we'll have a four horsemen stable like four horsewomen stable like on NXT, or they're gonna transfer that to the main roster sooner rather than later. I don't know, but either way, it was a great match. Once again, NXT proving that they are pretty much the best brand. Uh, moving on to the uh, last woman standing, the second. Last woman standing match, the first one was between Asuka and Nikki Cross, which was fucking phenomenal. And this one was great too. I, I can't sit here and deny it. They had a lot of bells and whistles, and you know what? They used them. They, they, they used them well, minus the little botch moon, so I will forgive it. You know, I, I yeah, you know, everyone says the women botches a lot, and, and you know, there was a lot of botches tonight. Yeah, Sasha botching a I don't know what the fuck happened with Sasha. She was running to the ropes and she tried to flip. And she's like, is that as if she forgot what to do? But, you know, shit happens. But, you know, it, it, it was still a great match. You know, it was brutal. It, it was what you expect from a last, like, a last woman standing. in you know, chairs, the kendo sticks, blah, blah, blah. This, a little bit unbelievable for Charlotte at times. You, you know, I understand that they have to make... These things feel organic, you know, feel like they're tough and stupid. But when you bury someone all under all that stuff and you get up, it kind of takes the feel out of it. And then I know why he did it. For Charlotte, of course. The queen. But the right woman won regardless, and that was Becky Lynch. Charlotte needs no more opportunities. She is done. Done. Charlotte wins the match. Great match. 1A to 1B with, between Kyrie Sane match and the uh, last woman standing match. You know, Becky is on a whole another level right now. I, I don't know who she feuds with next. You know, the only really one who can probably see her feuding with is Asuka at this point. But, I mean, this is the problem, you lie. I mean, who's she going to feud with? And, you know, are they going to keep pushing this thing until she's a heel and it would never seem that way on television on television we're gonna think she's a baby face but then you watch it and then you're going to you know see nothing of it of the sort so i don't know how that's gonna work but we'll have to see and that pretty much was the pay-per-view honestly granted there was one more match and when i say 95 percent meaning i turn off my uh, television because there was only three matches I put on my television. It was the Kyrie Sane match, the EO Shirai match, and the Becky match. Everything else was on my cell phone and in the corner for background noise. I refused to watch this main event. I refused. I am saying this now. Ronda Rousey. She is a pioneer in all the things she's accomplished. Yes, she is a. You know, a legit woman. Yes. She is a fighter. Yes. But her on the roster. 
She goes up to here and everyone else comes to here. It is a detriment. A, she's a baby face. That is like beyond belief that she is a baby face. B, it, nothing seems believable. Granted, you know, even if you were to put her in the ring with a Sasha Banks, who's a great wrestler in her own right, nothing would seem believable. This is the problem with bringing in these MMA fighters. You know, it doesn't feel legit. Now, Shayna feels a little bit more legit. Let me tell you why. And the other two, they weren't some mega killers in the UFC. Yes, Shayna is what, 15 and 15? Meaning she's gotten her ass kicked and lost 15 times. Ronda Rousey is on in the UFC before she got knocked out twice. She was up here. Her being there pretty much brings everyone down. Now, I understand, you know, they're going to humanize her to make her be sales, just like they do with Brock Lesnar. But the thing with Brock Lesnar is you can build someone up to beat him. Because technically speaking, no matter what role he's really playing, he's kind of always a heel. And he's been pushed to a point where you, you know, you want to see someone triumph. With Ronda, she is 120% babyface. There's nothing around it. Unless you build someone who is a big ass heel to take that title, it's not going to feel right. And then on top of that, who beats Ronda clean? That's the thing. When she's a baby face, the opportunity to beat her clean goes out of the window. With Brock as a heel, or as Ronda, if Ronda was a heel, you could build someone up. Build someone up to, you know, yes, it will still be unbelievable because Ronda should be able to just punch, flip, tap out, done. But in the world of wrestling, that doesn't really matter. But as a heel, you can build someone up and then finally bring down Ronda, who dominates the division. As a baby face, it kind of breaks, it just, you have to build a strong heel. And right now, the women have no strong heels. Nia Jax, we've seen that. Tamina, she'll be injured within two months. I'm sorry to say it, but she's been injured pretty much every time I've seen her in her six, seven, eight, nine year career. 90% of that time, she was on the shelf. She was on the shelf. And I'm not wishing bad on Tamina. I don't want nothing bad to happen to her, but she was on the shelf. Long story short, the match happened. I watched GIFs. Ronda, you know, so for Nikki, whatever. Kicked out Rack Attack 2.0, blah blah blah, punch, 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 flip, you know, Samoa drop thing, arm bar, tap out, go up to the stage, everyone comes out, hug one on the end. And that's your evolution review. I wasn't standing on this. I did a little mild rant, but I, I'm not, I, I have nothing else to say. Crown Jewels and on Friday, I watch it because you know, those who say they don't watch it, what, what, what the fuck? It's not going to stop the show from going on. It's not going to stop it. It's not going to stop them from changing their minds. It is what it is. And, and just like that, this review is over. I'm Dark Wave. I'm signing out. I'll talk to you later.